Now let's take up question number 27. Here this is a very interesting question having two choices. Here in the first show it has been stated find the vector and the Cartesian equations of the plane passing through the point having the coordinates 2 comma 2 comma minus 1, 3 comma 4 comma 2, 7, 0 and 6. Also find the vector equation of the plane passing through the point having coordinates 4 comma 3 comma 1 and parallel to the plane obtained above. In the second choice it has been asked to find the vector equation of the plane that contains the lines r vector and here I have the point minus 1, 3, comma, minus 4. Also find the length of the perpendicular drawn from the point 2, comma, 1, comma, 4 to the plane thus obtained. So let's take up the first choice. Here as we are talking about a plane which is passing through these three given points. Let's consider these points to be a, b and c. Using these three points, I can definitely obtain the position vector of these as to i cap plus 2 j cap minus k cap and ob vector will be given by 3 i cap plus 4 j cap plus 2 k cap and oc vector will be given by 7 i cap plus 6 k cap. Now, as you have here these position vectors, you need to obtain the equation of the plane which will be passing through this point a having coordinates 2 comma 2 comma minus 1 and it will be normal to n vector where n vector will be equal to cross product of ab vector and ac vector. So let us take up that condition here abc be these points having these respective position vectors and the required plane passing through this given point a and it will be normal to n vector which is given by vector ab cross vector ac. So very first let us obtain vector ab which will be given by OB vector minus OA vector and vector AC will be given by OC vector minus OA vector. So here I am obtaining AB vector. So here difference of these two gives me I cap plus 2 J cap plus 3 K cap. This is AB vector. In similar manner OC vector minus OA vector is simplified to give me here 5 I cap minus 2 J cap plus 7 K cap. So as you have obtained AB vector and AC vector this will help you out to obtain n vector where n vector is ab vector cross ac vector. So here through this we obtain n vector this is determinant of i j k 1 2 3 5 minus 2 and 7 on solving this by expanding along the first row you can see here I have 2 into 7 14 minus of minus 6 that is plus 6 for j cap I have 1 into 7 minus 5 into 3 15 next for k cap I have here minus 2 minus 10 and here this is plus because we have reversed the sign and then you simplify this to get here n vector where clearly n vector is 20 i cap plus 8 j cap minus 12 k cap. Now as you have obtained n vector let us use this n vector and try to obtain the equation of the plane. So the required equation of the plane will be given by r vector dot n vector equal to a vector dot n vector. So here this is the required equation. So r vector dot this n vector which I have obtained next I have here a vector representing the position vector of point a and here this is again n vector. When I will be taking here the dot product i dot i is equal to 1 itself. So on using that I will be simplifying this where on simplification I obtain r vector dot 20 i cap plus 8 j cap minus 12 k cap is equal to 2 into 20 40, 2 into 8 16, minus 1 into minus 12 12 and you can observe this value simplifies to 68 where you can take 4 common on both the sides and simplify to get here 17 on the right hand side. Here you have r vector dot 5 i cap plus 2 j cap minus 3 k cap equal to 17 and this is the required vector equation of the plane. Let us use it and obtain the Cartesian equation. To obtain the Cartesian equation and in place of r vector I can substitute x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So here I get the Cartesian equation of the plane where again when you simplify i dot i is equal to 1, j dot j is equal to 1 and k dot k is equal to 1 this simplifies to this equation which is 5x plus 2y minus 3z equal to 17. So as you have obtained the vector equation as well as the Cartesian equation. So first part of question is done. In the second part you are being asked to obtain the equation of plane which is passing through the point 4 comma 3 comma 1 and it is parallel to this above obtained plane and the equation will be given by 5x plus 2y minus 3z equal to the constant d. As 
this plane is passing through this point let's substitute here x y z by 4 3 and 1 on substitution I obtain here the value of d is 23 so d is 23 that gives me a clear vector equation of the plane which is passing through the point 4 3 1 and it is parallel to the above obtained plane this is the required equation and this is the answer for second part of this question as this was a six marker question when you obtain a b vector and n vector here you will obtain one marks for obtaining a b and a c vector and when you obtain here n vector the value of this will give you again one marks next when you proceed with finding the required equation of the plane here you will obtain two marks for this and after that you will obtain one marks for getting the Cartesian equation of this plane and to obtain the equation of the other plane which is parallel to the above plane. So here you obtain another one mark for getting the equation of the plane parallel to the above obtained plane. So there you get the total six marks for this question. Now let's proceed to the second choice. Here the second choice states that find the vector equation of the plane that contains the line r vector equal to i cap plus j cap plus lambda times i cap plus 2 j cap minus k cap and the point having coordinates minus 1 3 and minus 4. Also find the length of perpendicular drawn from the point 2 comma 1 comma 4 to the plane thus obtained. So as here we have to obtain the vector equation of the plane that contains this line and it passes through this point. Let us consider this point to be point A having coordinate minus 1, 3, minus 4. Let us consider that its position vector is alpha vector given by minus i cap plus 3 j cap minus 4 k cap. This plane contains this line which passes through the point B having coordinates 1, 1, 0 and it is parallel to this vector i cap plus 2 j cap minus k cap so let us consider it to be b vector so according to this given condition now next we need the normal vector to the plane so that we can obtain the equation of the plane so we need here a b vector how can you obtain a b vector by taking the difference of o b vector and o a vector that is given by 1 minus of minus 1 that is equal to 2 i cap 1 minus 3 minus 2 j cap 0 minus minus 4 that is plus 4 k cap that is a b vector and here b vector is this vector and the line lying on this plane is parallel to this b vector so i'll be taking up the cross product of a b vector and b vector to get the normal vector to the required plane so let's substitute here these values and on solving this determinant you get here that this normal vector that is n vector is equal to minus 6 i cap plus 6 j cap plus 6 k cap as the required plane passes through point a whose position vector is given by alpha vector and here that is normal to this n vector so using that i can definitely obtain the required equation of the plane and you could state that required plane is passing through alpha vector and it is perpendicular to n vector so its vector equation will be given by r vector dot n vector equal to alpha vector dot n vector so here i will be substituting now n vector and alpha vector that gives me this value you can observe constant 6 can be taken out common from the left hand side and right hand side let us cancel it up now here you can observe i dot i is equal to 1 j dot j is equal to 1 and k dot k is equal to 1 but if you take i dot j that will be 0 taking that into consideration i get that minus 1 into minus 1 it is 1 3 into 1 it is 3 minus 4 into 1 it is minus 4 that is 1 plus 3 4 minus 4 it is 0 so on RHS I am obtaining 0 hence this is the required vector equation of the plane so I hope it is clear to you next we have to use this equation of the plane and we have to obtain the length of the perpendicular drawn from the point having coordinates 2 comma 1 comma 4 to this plane having the equation r vector dot minus i cap plus j cap plus k cap equal to 0 is given by d where d is equal to modulus of 2i cap plus j cap plus 4k cap dot minus i cap plus j cap plus k cap upon square root of minus 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square here again you will find that i dot i is equal to 1 taking that into consideration i get 2 into minus 1 that is minus 2 1 into 1 it is 1 and 4 into 1 it is 4 and in the denominator it will simplify to the value root 3 so I get here this value equal to 3 upon root 3 which is equal to root 3. So this is the required 
value of the length of the perpendicular drawn from the given point on the plane. So, I hope it is clear to you. So, this was a 6 marker question where when you obtain the value of this n vector you will obtain 1 mark till this step after that when you obtain this vector equation you will obtain here 1 mark on solving this and on obtaining the final equation you obtain here 2 mark and next when you obtain the length of this perpendicular in this step where you obtain length of perpendicular as root 3 finally you will obtain 2 marks that gives me total of 6 marks. So, in this way you can solve these types of questions. I hope it is clear to you. Let us proceed to our next question.